Okay, uh, I want to say a few points in the Zen, which are very important. Okay. I told you that there are three crucial points we have to pay attention in the Zen, harmonizing the body, harmonizing breath, harmonizing the mind. That is very important. So, in this case, <coughs> first of all, you have to uh, make you have to make arrangement of circumstances, zendo, sitting place, okay, our external circumstances. <coughs> so not messy room, not stinky room, uh, not uh, too bright, not too dark, not too cold, not too hot, not much drift. Okay, so you should adjust, adjust the external circumstances for your city, okay? And also, next, you know, that is a posture, okay, posture. Posture already you have learned. So that posture, physical posture, it means, uh, 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 phys uh, proper physical posture means uh, to keep balance, okay? To keep your body balanced. If you have this one straight, you know, posture like this, that is exactly you keep the balance, okay? you keep your body balanced externally, physically, and simultaneously that connect into, connect with the nervous system, okay? Brain, brain stings. So central nerve and the spinal cord and exactly connected, okay? So if you have a proper posture physically, that means exactly your the function of the brain stems work and keep in balance. Exactly. Okay. That's exactly it. Yes. So that's why the sitting proper posture is important. Okay. Important. So if you're sitting like this, you can't sit for long. And also you cannot uh, you cannot uh, really concentrate on the sitting. Or if you sit like this, which means a too comfortable posture <laughs> for you. That kind of thinking thoughts coming up. So it's very difficult to become tranquil, sort of uh, tranquil, okay? So that is physical posture. The next, harmonizing the breath harmonizing uh, the mind. This is also very important. <coughs> external physical condition or internal physical condition, <coughs> the human body has, human body is characterized by sort of, uh, what would you say, uh, 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 mental stasis? Not medical. Uh, homeostasis. Homeostasis. Okay. <coughs> so, if you are harmonizing your breath, harmonizing your mind, that is exactly keeping the the function of your brain stem completely in balance. Okay, in balance. Creating, creating a strong feeling of being present right now right here. Okay? Because central nerves, they working pretty well and also frontal nerves, uh, cerebrum, cortex really rest perfectly. So when the cerebrum cortex <coughs> not stops and rest, if you can make it rest well, it works very naturally, smoothly, without giving any pressure to central nerve. So central nerve and the, your brain stems and cerebral, um, cerebrum cortex and all things work pretty well. Okay? So very naturally, our hormones, function of the hormones pretty well, breathing is pretty well, and then very naturally, mind blooms, so-called tranquil. So, 
the very naturally you really feel strongly or stably being present right now, right here. Okay. On the other hand, uh, you can, when the external or internal physical condition operates pretty well, at that time you can create vitality anyway. You can feel really strong vitality. So two things you can realize through <coughs> this practice. You can feel exactly being present, complete beyond you like or you don't like, just being present. You can notice this through this thing. On the other hand, you can realize vitality. You want to live. Okay? You want to be present. Okay? That is the vitality. So two things come up. So sometimes uh, you don't know what to do. Strong vitality comes up. Energy comes up. But at that time, don't worry. Okay? Don't worry. Just let really it go. Just uh, be with it. Okay? But if you poke your head into something extra, something particular, vitality, okay, energy, uh, depressing energy or the strong energy, etc., that is a problem for you. So don't worry, whatever kind of energy comes up, just all you have to do is just sitting continually, okay? Keep in balance. So, uh, very naturally, um, the, your whole body and mind is characterized by homeostasis, okay? Constantly keeping balance. So that is influencing your life. And also, you can, uh, what would you say, fit your life into human society through this experience. So, you bring your body and mind into human society but your mind and body are very calm and uh, keeping balance. And also you influencing, you help somebody with this situation of your body and mind, even though you don't say it. So when you join a human society, still you can really experience this feeling of being present safely and securely. Okay? On the other hand, feeling of desire to be present. Okay? But, but both are completely working in equal. So that is a keeping balance. Exactly keeping balance. You cannot always keep calm because you have to act. Even though you sit down, it is active. Okay? Even though you don't say anything, it is active. But in order to act, you need a vitality, energy. Don't you think, huh? So both. But both doesn't interrupt each other. Exactly keeping balance. This is characteristic of, of your body, externally or internally. That is called homeostasis. Okay? Complete. Let's keep this function characteristic of your body and mind like this. You can help people like this and also you can help yourself like this. So very naturally you can really enjoy yourself. Okay. At that time still it is a problem. Okay. So called egoistic. I am keep man, you know. I am a great man like this. That is ego. It's the ego. Or there is a <clears throat> very strong desire. I want to keep this one. I want to be good boy wherever I am. So I want to do the then. Okay. So sometimes uh, kick out anybody who interrupts you. So kick out and I want to do the then. You don't care the families. You don't care schools. You don't care office, sometimes you really want to do that. This is egoistic. Okay. This is egoistic. So, the more you realize how wonderful the function of homeostasis, you can realize, but it becomes selfish. Okay. 
So finally, all you have to do is forget it. All you have to do is day by day, day by day, just keep this practice, just on and on, without expectation anything. <laughs> just keep it. That is already just practice, okay? But uh, before that, if you attach it to the good experience, good aspect of your experience through that, then <coughs> at that time you create some, a certain expectation through that, then, okay? Enlightenment, more, 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 desires, endless, going endless, okay? At that time you, be, you cannot become peace, peaceful, okay? Because more, more, better life, better life. So it keeps you busy. So what is a peace? In the Zen, you are confused. <laughs> you are not in peace. So the Zen is exactly simple of peace. Exactly. Okay? That means right around the Zen, nothing to touch it to the Zen. Okay? Only the Zen is standing there. That's all. But if you really realize how wonderful the Zen is, you are exactly creating a more desire to experience something more, or I want to be a good boy, I want to help people, I want to do Zazen more, <laughs> I don't care the human problem, <laughs> all this, all things come up. And then, very naturally, how many days, how many hours I should do it in order to get the good boy. So they naturally go on and on, the desires coming up. Don't you think so? So what is a peace? So you are completely, well, doing something, uh, the same things as you do usually. Okay? But why do you do that then? Because, I don't know why, but uh, because consciously or unconsciously, you want to be peaceful anyway, don't you? <laughs> well, even though you don't know, uh, but unconsciously or consciously you want to be present in peace, in harmony, right now or right here. That's all you have to do. For this, why don't you just sit, okay? So if you realize all you have to do is harmonizing your mind and the bodies and the breath, and then you can realize the two feelings, being present exactly beyond your like or dislike, you really appreciate your presence, okay? Realizing the value, how value you are, your presence is. Second, strong vitality comes up constantly. The boss, don't bother each other. Exactly keeping in balance, okay? That is called peace or tranquility. Okay? This is really helping people and helping you. But at that time, that is, if you expect this reward from Zazen, it is exactly not religious practice because it is just like the same thing that you do in your everyday life, you know. Do something and then what? Do something and then what? Okay. I get two things, good things, and then what? Always what? 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 Okay. And then it keeps you busy. In a sense, it's one in a sense, cause of trouble. So you never find peace. But the other thing is exactly to realize who you are, okay? Not losing the energy, not losing the vitality, not losing the yourself as you really are, okay? That's all you have to do. That is important for us, for this, anyway. Whatever you experience, forget it, okay? All you have to do is to carry it forever. Just, just like water on Ganges River, just going, okay? That is really great power, okay? Supporting your life, behind your life, okay? You don't see it, but it's really great help, okay? That is called security. Spiritual security. 
great preacher. But in the human world, always we can see something. If you do something, and then you can get a power, okay? Or mentally or physically you can get, or materialistically you can get a power. But that power is always get power, next moment it disappears. Did you think so? Always it disappears. And then next you can get more, and then next moment it disappears. What are you doing, finally? But the thing is not like that. So, wherever you can get the power, physically, mentally, that's fine. Don't worry about this, okay? All you, all you have to do is just to carry the dozen. Just like this. Through what you can get any kind of powers, okay? You can get it. But power you can get is not important. That is a secondary. Helping so much. What? So, you can get it. But don't worry about this. Don't hang on. Hang around with this one, okay? Appreciate it. Appreciate those experience. But don't hang around. All you have to do is just to carry your life, okay? That means uh, experience that perfect harmony, okay? Harmony you can experience and you can help others and you can help you. Then Dogen then says, finally, this energy, this experience should be shared with not only your friend, all things should be. Anyway, give it. All things should be. So, what should I keep? It. All I can keep it is just Zazen. So whatever I can have, anyway, share it with all things should be. Anyway, give it. Then, that is a great practice for us. Very naturally, you can get really, really power behind the power you can see. Okay? That is called personality, spiritual security. Okay? Spiritual. That is a deepening your life. Okay, that's all.